What is going on everybody? It's Brian from Brian Loves Bonsai and today I'm going to be repotting this extra large Green Island Ficus, Ficus Microcarpa. My intent originally was to get it into a new pot compared to the one that I just pulled it out of. However, that ended up not going particularly perfectly. I ended up repotting it into the same pot, but I did a lot of good structural work cleaned up the roots and cleaned up a lot of the old soil that was still remaining inside of the root structure. So overall I would say this was definitely a very successful repot and I'm happy to have completed it. Um, talking about a little bit of my goals for repotting this tree, like I said I wanted to, I did want to get it into a new pot, but uh, I also wanted to orient the tree slightly differently. Uh, I had a backwards lean to it and it kind of made it look like it was going away from the viewer so I wanted to orient the tree a little bit more forward uh, and just trying to continue to get the overall silhouette of the tree more perfectly aligned. Um, I noticed that when I was trying to get it into the new pot it was very tight and that means that the tree was definitely going to have a hard time recovering. Uh, it wasn't going to grow as fast, the roots weren't going to have room to expand and so I ultimately end up putting it back in the same pot uh, but I'm happy with the overall repot for sure. So looking at the bottom of this root base you can see some of the old soil that's that black dark stuff and some of the new soil the red and the, the white and gray and you can see the difference in the root structure down there. Uh, the black soil area is the original soil and you can see that there's not a lot of roots pretty much everything in there uh, is stuff that I'm chopping off it's pretty weak dead, damaged, it definitely retains water more in that black and dark organic soil which causes those roots to not really want to develop compared to the bonsai soil that you can see around the edges of the container which really promote a lot of oxygen, water, good flow and exchange of nutrients to the roots. And so I do start off by working these roots pretty aggressively. Uh, ficus can handle it for sure and I am trying to get it into a significantly smaller pot compared to the pot that it started off in. So I am going around and just taking a look at roots that don't have a lot of extended structure coming off of them. Some of them that are just obstructions to locations where I'm trying to get the pot and the roots to fit into that pot. Uh, so I am cutting off some of the big structural stuff. I definitely start working into the dark soil area and trying to remove some of the thick chunky stuff that's just kind of hanging out in there but not putting off a ton of roots right now. Uh, I work on flattening out the base to try and get the tree oriented so that I can lean it a little bit more forward and again overall I just work the roots really aggressively trying to get it into that pot which ultimately does not work. However the tree definitely responds well to the work that I do. Uh, I have a few weeks later. The 360 at the end is actually a few weeks after this repot and the tree barely even noticed this extremely heavy root work. Uh, it has a lot of room to grow in the new soil and in the same old pot but with a lot more room to extend which I think is going to be helpful for some of those branches in the back towards the bottom left that I'm trying to thicken. So at this point I'm just going to let you continue to watch me work. I'll put on some music and let you view the process. Again if you want to see the tree when it's finished, that is at the end you can see the tree displayed in 360 degrees. Uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Have a wonderful rest of your day slash night. Goodbye everybody.